Quite a lot of people that have been introduced to my channel and the stuff that I sort of talk about all the time has actually been through my Odeon series of videos and the sort of relationship between my Odeon, the things you get, and also my experiences. So in today's video, obviously I've discussed this quite a lot, I'm gonna be talking about my five month in review and sort of the things that I've seen and the things that I would like to improve upon going forward. Stick around to see exactly what I think. The amount of times that I've probably mentioned this, that I go to the cinema, I enjoy the cinema experience, is probably mentioned in so many videos now, but it's still a large part of my life, and it's a large part of what I love doing, especially making videos, sort of actually expressing myself and being able to enjoy the sort of cinema experience, because in the past I didn't always have that. I'm obviously still being based in Bournemouth now, I'm loving the things that I'm doing, and I'm actually quite enjoying the sort of post-COVID um, cinema sort of experience. I keep saying experience, I apologize. I'm just loving everything to do with the cinema. The films that are being released, the actual aesthetics of the cinema, um, the vibes that I'm actually getting, it's just next level. And I can't actually express how much better the Odeon experience is compared to the likes of some other sort of cinema chains that I will know, especially from being back home. Besides all that, all the jargons out of the way, what has my five month experience with Odeon been like and have I actually made good use of the My Odeon subscription? Well, for me, the person that's always down at the cinema, I'm making my money back tenfold. This week, in especially, I've been to see two different films and you know what I mean? I've made my money back already. As of current, the sort of subscription price is $12.99 per month. And that's, I mean, as a baseline, that's just fantastic. In one of my original videos, it was actually $9.99 a month, but they did raise it because it was on a bit of a special offer. So it's $12.99 a month. You can either pay that on a rolling contract or actually pay for the whole year. If you pay for the year, you save yourself a little bit of money, but I have definitely made my money back. Obviously with an adult ticket now, ranging from about 11 to 15 pounds, and then obviously going up a little bit further with the eye sense screens and stuff, I've definitely made my money back. For the $12.99 a month, that's almost like going to the cinema once a month and I'm going once or twice a week. So as you can imagine, I'm absolutely rinsing them and making my money worth it. But besides that, the films that I'm actually going to see have sort of expanded my horizons. Because I've got this membership, I'm actually seeing more films that I wouldn't necessarily go and watch. Back when I'm back in Bishop Stortford, I'm specifically going to the cinema to watch a film. Whereas here I'm more like, oh, I've got some spare time, I've got my limitless membership, why don't I go and use it? And I actually get a little bit more out of that experience. And it really does sort of show me a wider sort of specific set of genres. And it does expand my horizons when it comes to those sort of things. Besides the fact of me actually enjoying the films and like mentioning how many films I've been to see, I would actually like to sort of focus on some of the comments that I've had and also messages from a few people. So I had someone get in contact with me, been chatting backwards and forth, suggesting some films. Thank you very, very much for doing that. You know who you are, you're in my Instagram DMs. Not gonna mention you by name, but you know. And just having that interesting conversation with people is absolutely outstanding. I've had people share their thoughts on films like Licorice Pizza, and just, I love hearing what you guys have to say and what you have to think. And actually understanding how people use the cinema is great and also finding more news about the sort of different experiences. As I've sort of mentioned that as well, um, I'd also like to sort of push further forward on and actually mention something that Odeon has only just implemented um, and will also start to be rolled out in a number of different cinemas. And that is the ability to book multiple limitless screenings in one go with a group of people. So say I want to go and watch Spider-Man No Way Home, if that's still out when this video is out, um, I could book that to go and see with one of my friends. If we both have a limitless memberships, we can book the same seats and same tickets at the same time without having to go through the faff of booking it and then like, oh, it's just an absolute pain. You'll know what I'm on about if you use my limitless, but they've actually implemented that going forward and that's just one of the things that I would really, really like. The only other thing that I've had from comments about people mentioning it is actually cancelling the membership. And I've known this from um, someone that's close to me that obviously used to use the membership with me all the time, now hasn't uh, had to use it. 
it's a bit of a long process to cancel it. You have to go through their website, you have to contact them, add a ticket. There's no simple way of doing it, something that really does need to be implemented and changed. So Odeon, get on that, sort your out, and fingers crossed that will be resolved in the future. But to wrap up this video and sort of finalize everything, I still love it. I love my Odeon experience, I love my Limitless, and I just can't praise them enough for the film selection that they offer, but also for the fact of like different seat cho choices and options, which is a little bit silly sometimes, but I really, really do enjoy them. I think My Limitless is there for people who love films that always go to the cinema, and if you're gonna make your money's worth, definitely do get it because you can save yourself a lot of money in the long run. If you have any questions or thoughts about the My Odeon Limitless, please leave a comment down in the comment section down below and I'll definitely get back to you or head over to my Instagram and I will also message you and speak to you over there. That has been all for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed. If you like this video, please hit like, hit subscribe to stay up to date with more content and fingers crossed, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you then. Peace. Thank you.